Good morning, Mayor and City Council. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing here? You're part of the problem. <laughs> You know, listen, listen here. I don't want to deviate too much from this topic, but you know, Commissioner, I, I hold, have, on. Have, hold on, uh, I hold on. Identify yourself. We need you to give your name and address. Oh, we know God. you're at the county, but you have to. <laughs> He's Jim already Scott, taken a bow. Five nine zero three East Skinner, Wichita, Kansas, Southeast Kansas. Thank you. Southeast Wichita. Man. Thank you, Commissioner. You know, there. I want to tell everybody something. There has been countless times, many, 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 many times, I have sat up there and have been uncomfortable. Michael, you got to deal with it, brother. <laughs> I didn't say when I didn't say when a council candidate back here needs to deal with it too because I didn't you know say what? I want to deal with it. Okay, you got to deal with all the things that come your way. That's my point. I and, know, we just don't have to And and I think it that and there it, it. It, it Mr. Mayor, may I please have the bench or the this podium? You have the bench, but you can tell us. <laughs> okay. I think it's how you respond to it and you, you can think about it. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm standing here and being perfect, but uh, you know, you're going to have things like this that come up all the time. There's going to be disagreement. And uh, you know, I think the, count, the county commission and the city council have an absolute responsibility to correct misinformation. That is, that is an imperative. There are, is so much misinformation out there. I'm, I am extremely disappointed by it. A lot of my time is spent straightening out misinformation and there's a lot of people that don't take every day like we do to examine the facts they're members of the public they got a job but our job is to analyze that information and if there is some misinformation out there we need to correct it and I'm not picking on anybody here I'm just making a general statement of fact here so um, about this project here today, you know, the genesis of this whole thing was many, many years ago. It was before I was on a council. It was in, when Phil Lemke was a, was a uh, council member, Tim Norton, and, and many other community volunteers worked on this pr plan to get it going. Uh, and, and we have accomplished so much of those goals in that plan. And I'd like each and every one of you to look at that plan and go, go through it and see what, what goals have been accomplished. And I'm going I'm to tell you right here, these people right here, this is why I haven't doing it. It's for these people, okay. the people that live down there. Am I going to, am I over my five minutes, Mayor? No, I'm just trying to make sure you stay focused on us. Okay, well, I'm <laughs> looking at the, I'm looking at the <laughs> so, people back okay, here right. because my focus is, is, is on them as well. And that's who we're doing it for. This is going to bring a greater amount of standard of living to South Wichita. This is a major turning point for the history of that town. There is no doubt in my mind. You know, when we talk about economic development, we're talking about bringing money in from the outside of the community, and I'm sure that this project is going to do that. It's not just one transfer of one old Navy store down to another one. I mean, this is going to bring in people from out of town. I mean, the people that I know in other cities are talking about it and ready for it to, to uh, be initiated and ready for this project to be completed. A lot of these people here behind me supporting this project have poured their heart out for years over this. They've hoped it's happened. It's been, it, it got canceled once. Tim Norton and I and a team of other state representatives tireless, tirelessly worked uh, the, the state, the, the Secretary of Transportation, and anybody else we could get our hands on and, ears, and have an ear with. Okay? And I know that I appreciate the council and, and the work that every one of you do. I know it's a tough word. It's a tough work, you know. We can let the, the words of those that try to scour our progress hinder us, but we use our courage to move forward. And, that, and that's just what it is. That's just what it is, courage to move forward. And our courage in knowing what the right thing is, because everybody up here is educated. And if you're not educated, you're getting one real quick. All right, last thing here, I want to say, uh, make, I made a few notes here. Um, we miss you, Jim. Well. <laughs> Commissioner Skelton. Oh, thanks. Appreciate you. I miss y'all, too. Yeah. Okay. Let him say what he has no, to say. I, He's I just, running out I of time. I just want, you know, people have a right to disagree, and people have a right to, 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 to say, yeah, I'm being picked on, but, you know, to set the record straight, 
which means the truth is, is, is one imperative that there is not much higher than. It is important that the truth be told all the time. Okay? And we need to set the record straight if there's misinformation out there. And I have been subject of misinformation too. I don't really make a deal about it. I just, I just live with it, you know? I just move on. Thank you very much. I was being there, serious too, Jim. <laughs> are there any questions for Commissioner Skelton? County Commissioner. Okay. Commissioner. Nothing. <laughs>